Well, that should provide a good key for some super glue. Only the finest, it says industrial strength, and it's feeling like an industrial job. And for a pound off the care boot, silly can't go wrong, he's got to work. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Now, I believe the secret of this is not to glue your fingers to the copper. I think that'll be enough. Best line that all up at me before it's too late. Okay, let's clamp it and forget about it. To release tomorrow. I don't think there's much more I can do. Penny washer, car boot sale, didn't cost me a penny though, that's upsetting. I think this mandrel, which I use also for turning the bottles, has turned out to be one of my favourite homemade tools so far. What are you? Have you got a favourite tool? Have a homemade or bought? It looks the part. Beautiful. That's the desired effect I was looking for. 
And you can't even tell now that it's two separate pieces of copper. It looks like one solid piece, which is very nice. The next process I'm looking at is to round this off, get rid of this flat feature. I want to round them all. I'm not quite sure I'm going to do that yet. Let's have a quick butchers at it, see how it's turned out. Yeah, that's not bad for me. I'm happy with that. You'd never know. You'd never know. <laughs> that's what we started with. That's what we ended up with. It's not a bad evening's work. Right. Let's see if I can do something with that. I need to round it off. Well, production has been a little bit slow this evening because I couldn't find this essential part and I did find it eventually. It was in the jaws of the power hacksaw and I was using it to keep the jaws parallel to the swivel toward the bare end because it wasn't long enough. But I completely forgot I used it and I shouldn't have done really because it's actually for this job but I did use it. And I searched boxes, I searched under the bench, I turned the old rubbish bag out, no avail. So, does that happen to you guys where you put something down and two minutes later you can't find it? <laughs> anyway, I've got it. So I can continue this evening's job. I'm going to round the edges off the, these. They're a bit sharp. And I want to feel, make it feel a little bit warmer. So, that's the job. Right, let's have a look at the finished job. Let's
let's take it over to the bench right before we have a look at it I best answer a question a few of you might be wondering why are you cutting all this copper Chris what's it for I'll, I'll show you it's for a sculpture I'm making at the moment I do like doing a little bit of sculpture in my spare time it's relaxing so let's have a look it's a primary coil for the face melter 3000 ray gun <laughs> And there you can see it in all its glory. This is just an initial mock up. I think the central spine will possibly be stainless steel, blued. So I'm going to have to learn how to blue stainless steel. But that should be fun as well. I'll show you make a video about it. But you can see the general idea of what I'm making. And I'll possibly go on the end of that when it's all polished up. Cool. I just need to remove these very carefully and they damage very easily and I think the final ray gun may have to be in the glass case because this stuff is seriously soft but pretty Whoa. right let's have a look here's the finished job it's got a nice round profile on it much better than the raw version I was going to have the raw version or well, something in the back of my mind said, Chris, it's not really that pretty. And it isn't. This feels nicer. This feels more retro. This feels more 50s. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the videos. And be sure to tune in for some more car boot sale videos. Bluing, stainless steel and other exciting things. <laughs> Only number four to go. Hmm.